All right, it's Saturday, 7, almost 7 a.m., 6.46. Uh, we're about to run in the Monumental Half, and Mark is helping today with the pace. <laughs> so the goal is to try to run 2.59 per K, which is uh, sub-63, hopefully. But also knowing that I'm in marathon training, in the middle of marathon training, last five weeks, so hopefully I feel good and I feel fast, but if I don't, then a good effort is what matters the most today. But of course I want to run fast. So. Yeah, I mean, I think the plan is good. We'll just go through right in uh, 44, 45 for 15K. That's about 14.55 per 5K. Um, yeah, just trying to stay on the, on the pace, so. Yeah. Whenever we do this, uh, whether it's just like racing or like I'm pacing loose or whatever, uh, I'll just have my watch set up in Ks so I get feedback more often than the miles. And then I have the overall time on the watch so I can check the major splits of 5K, 10K, 10K. So, yep. Yeah, and hopefully we'll be one or two seconds faster through the 5K. And that always helps, like, motivation wise knowing that you're a little bit faster not too much faster like literally just five seconds faster will be nice but that's about it so trying to be smart trying to run progressive and finish strong how are you feeling about the race this morning uh good it's chilly but i was expecting it to be very cold it's like 30 degrees which is negative something uh, but it's not too windy so that's good and i have mark to kind of like cut the wind for me so that helps so i'm feeling good feeling excited i really don't know how my body is going to feel so i'm like a little nervous about it but hopefully it'll feel good with that 259 pace and i'll be able to keep it up and then progress at the end um, again, if if I don't feel perfect, then just try to run as fast as I can for half a marathon and see how that goes. But I'm excited. I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to be healthy. Happy to have four or five weeks to my marathon and still be feeling good. No pains or injuries or anything. So, you know, I'm fortunate to be here and I'm fortunate to have this opportunity. So, opportunities are all about taking them and doing the best you can. And see how it goes. Also no pressure, but you know, the day is here, so why not give it a try and just do my best. And hopefully my best today is a PR or a national record. And if it's not, then I'll keep pushing and I'll keep trying until that day happens. So, see. What's your PR right now? Uh, 63.09. So yeah. hopefully in an hour or so it will be faster than that. We'll see. But yeah, which is also the national record, so a PR will be a national record, hopefully. But we'll see. How's everybody feeling this morning? Good. I'm saying chipper. I guess I'm chipper <laughs> for a 4 a.m. our time. You? I'm not. <laughs> I'm awake. So, Molly, you won in 2019 here? I did. I did, yeah. It's a good race. Nice course. Flat, fast. So, yeah. Hoping for some magic today. What's your course time here? Um, I ran 72.15 the last time I was here. Um, so, I'd like to run... A couple minutes faster. Yeah, close to 71. <laughs> yeah. So we'll we'll see. I've run the marathon here four times. <laughs> Never the half. So it's today's the day. I'm gonna do like 12, and then the last three minutes, like progressive on purpose to. Can I get it up? Oh, this is the best. Do you have any pre race superstitions or routines that are important? Nope. Warm up, 
<laughs> go to the bathroom. Just keep it simple. Yeah. <laughs> put my shirt on and run fast. That's it. Is a runner up. Yeah. Former Butler Bulldog with a great performance here today. Downtown Indianapolis. Luis Fuman. Hey. Good race. Yeah. How'd you feel? Uh, it was good. I mean, good effort. Again, not good time, which is kind of annoying. I thought we were on 63 low pace. I don't know, like I miscounted or something and ended up running 64 low. I was thinking, I was on pace for a 63.30 or so and I was like, alright, this is a good marathon effort. Uh, so I ended up running a little slower than I wanted to. But good day, good effort, good marathon training for sure. 
definitely wanted more, definitely wanted to run faster, definitely a little behind on where I want to be, but I'll take it for today, 64 low, uh, I really wanted to be in the 63 because that will give me the confidence for a 212 or something in the marathon. Uh, it is what it is, it is where I am at right now. I just gotta deal with it. Keep training and hope this next five weeks <laughs> get better, you know? So, we'll see. Yeah, what happened with Mark? I don't know, he... At 6K, he stepped off. I don't think he was feeling good. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't know. I mean, he did a good job, he helped. And I always had people to run with. So, it wasn't like a problem at all. The problem for me was that I thought we were running 63 lows, so I was like, alright, this is good, stay here, stay strong here. Uh, but I guess I was a little bit behind that, unfortunately, because I really wanted to get into this marathon with a 63 half five weeks before. But, I don't know, it just didn't happen today. Yeah. Well, you look strong, maybe it's just yeah, like a yeah. timing thing in your head, or... Yeah, I feel good. Yeah. And definitely, like, like right now, well, it's been two minutes after the race. I feel strong, like I, as in I could keep going if it was a marathon, you know? Like I could do a workout right now. I can feel good. Yeah. Which is not good, because after a race, you want to feel like you're done, you're tired, but yeah. I don't know, I feel good. So maybe that's a good sign for the marathon that I just have to go a little bit slower, feel good, and go further. Yeah. So, I don't know. Ha, we'll see. Yeah. Great job, Molly. <laughs> back to back. <laughs> How was it? Was it was good. I had a good group of guys that I ran with, and yeah, it felt really comfortable. And I really tried to push the last like two miles or something. So oh, yeah. yeah. What was your finish time? Uh, 70-40, I think. Sweet. Awesome. Yeah. Great job. Well, the top three half marathon finishers, the top three women half marathon finishers, please report to the CNO banner. So today's recap of the race. So the goal was to run 63.30 and if I felt good, really good, I could push harder and try to run a PR. If not, try to stay there. And the goal was this because we're running a marathon in four weeks. So this was like the last hard effort. Last controlled effort, but also like, I wanted to run fast inside of me, you know, like, Every time I race, I want a PR. But I also know that my legs and where I am right now in marathon training was like at 63.30. Um, so I went out, we were running 259, three flats, so feeling pretty good. Um, my watch kind of made me think I was running 63.30 pace, but I was just a little off. So I ended up running 64 very low, which, it's slower than I wanted to run, but I felt good. Inside of me, I'm happy I had a good race because I felt really good with the pace. I felt like three flat, you know, it's just, if I could slow down a little bit, I could run a really good marathon kind of thing. So I'm happy, happy with my effort. Definitely wanted more. Definitely wanted to run faster. Definitely wanted a PR, I'm not gonna lie. But that's what it was in the cart for today. So I'll take it and I'm healthy, I'm happy, I'm marathon training, and I think with this race, I can run a really good marathon, a marathon PR, which is what I really want this year. So I would say a good day, good effort, wanted more, I wanted better, but I'll take it for now.